ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, welcome back to another world of Tags Replay with your host, Great Taz. Now, why don't we get this battle on the road in three, two, one, road out. <laughs> Hello everyone, Great Taz here once again with another World of Tanks replay, and today we're going to be watching myself once again play. But today I'm going to be playing the Fury, better no, it was better known. Um, but it is the Easy Eight or the M4 A3 E8. So yes, and we're today on Live Oaks. All right, saying about the Fury. It, it really is pretty much 100% identical to the uh, M4 E3 A E M4 A2 E3 E8 that is already in the game. The 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 easy 8 that is in, I believe it's still in the tech tree. I don't think it's a collector's tank. One of those two fell over into the collector's tank and it kind of sucked. But anyways, um the Fury is a fun little tier 6, uh, and this is a full tier 6 battle. Now, the thing about the Fury is it's based off the tank, uh, it's actually a tank based off the movie, and it's really no different than, again, like I said, the Easy 8. So, that is already in-game in the in say Now, if you want a, a tank just to, you know, for right now, um, train your e, uh, Easy 8 crew, this is fine. But overall, uh, I think the Easy 8 is just as good. It does earn more credits. It does get more crew experience because it is a premium tank. So overall, it has the same 76 millimeter, same top engine, uh, and everything like that. And what I can do is, uh, before we run off to Watt Replays or WattRecords.com, uh, we'll jump into game. This is a replay, of course. We'll jump in the game and do a quick comparison of the said two tanks. So, as you can see here, uh, my team, we are up by one and we are up by 680 hit points. But if you watch and continue to watch, that is going to change. As you can see, the already is trying to hit me. I'm not sure if that was the SUA or the M44, but anyway around it, they are trying to shoot me. I am sitting here trying to peek poke and shoot the, the, that bush is not the greatest for poking uh, as you can see I've been hit by the Nash horn uh, as soon as I got up there so uh, uh, what I do here is the lower ridge over here as long as they are where they're at like where the Cromwell and the 3485 and the Hellcat are you can actually get some shots and you see where the, the Cromwell is right now he's up on the hill that right there was a complete snapshot, pure luck. I wasn't aiming whatsoever. This one, uh, of course, I'm going to aim and shoot him in the bone. But as you can see quickly, within a, just maybe a minute, we went from having more hit points to, uh, all the way down to being 1,300 hit points below, being behind by a, a tank, maybe two, up back up to being ahead by a tank, and all. And we get up ahead, up ahead by two tanks, but then again, right back to one, one, as you can see, as the team is getting shot a little bit. So that's where the Nashorn actually shot me from. As you can see on the minimap, he's over there between the 50-2 and the super, the super Chopper. What is funny is uh, our heavies really didn't do a great job, like the Tiger 131, the Tog 2, uh, they didn't do a great job. Now... The Heavy Tank 6 was over here with us, along with the uh, 3002M, which is actually uh, a, a medium tank anyways, but it, it's a kind of heavy medium overall. So as you can see, they have their three heavies over there, and they did a real good job. It looks like we may have taken one of their heavies out so they got their four heavies all went to city where three of our heavies went to the city and one came this direction now i'm not quite sure what happened here uh in this temporary pause but as you can see if you can continue to watch we're only up by one tank but we're down by 2400 hit points and that can all change in a matter of minutes that's why you should never give up on a battle 
no matter how many I mean uh, for the enemy team they got us by thousands of hit points the problem is, is we got them by numbers we got three more tanks than they do so we got three more guns in the battle the biggest thing that they needed to concentrate on uh, at this point in time is trying to spot someone and take out guns and they didn't do the greatest job with that in general as you can see here is the jumbo or the m4 e3 a2 it's uh the e in the american lines are all experimental value um experiments on tanks uh, so like the jumbo there is an e a a4 m4 a3 e2 this tank i'm in is also an m4 a3 um M is just a designation for or basically like military or something like that. Uh, it doesn't mean anything more than it is uh, a, a vehicle or a piece of equipment when it comes to the U.S. military that is in production. Uh, and it is a production and used uh, a, a piece of equipment. And that can go any way, anywhere from a 9mm a pistol or all the way up to like the, this tank the the m4 sherman so that is that is the way that the nomenclature means now the a means basically altercation or alteration of said tank this is alteration number four on the shirt on the m4 sherman the e boils down to basically experiments uh they 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 do keep them it, it's technically you'd have a bunch of different models or stuff uh, that have minor differences so they become what they call uh, an e-model or easy eight as you can see there I end up getting burninator and right there we literally still we have 1300 hit points over top of that 150 but they will they will slowly dwindle as you know people run in and rush in and it's it's at well, so this point 14 to 8 and it's a really overall good game at tier 6 as you can see there is that 150 right there so i am going to sneak up here as you notice i did train to premium rounds uh when firing at the the jumbo and the jumbo has a really thick uh mantle on its turret and a heavy turret and carries a 105 howitzer so overall i did really enjoy this battle and and all that so it, it, it was an interesting thing that i kind of kind of wasn't sure if we were gonna win uh in all six battle uh the the easy ape the jumbo and, and the fury and there's also the thunderbolt uh that's the four e4 a m4 shermans that are in the game on in the u.s line the thunderbolt being another premium they all have a little differences except for the easy a and the fury are literally identical tanks the jumbo is a heavy has heavy turret armor and can carry a 105 howitzer on it it can also get an upgraded turret which it has it's basically the easy eight turret and it has it has it's a little bit slower it has more weight but it can also get the 76 millimeter gun on that tank so it, it to, to have the two there i mean to have the upper version of the jumbo and the upper version of the easy eight the same except for the big differences in speed and engine power i really don't know why wargaming put the easy eight turret and the 76 millimeter on the the e2 the thunderbolt has more frontal armor it's basically an easy eight that has an extra thickness or an ablative or based armor on the front of the tank is what it boils down to is the thunderbolt so it was another alteration uh of the m4 easy eight e8 model just so you had more like I said, we're going to head on into the game real quick, show you the differences between the four tanks, and real quick, insider portion, and then we're going to jump over to wattrecords.com. And here we are in game with the comparison. Now, if you look at each one of these, I don't know if it says it here. Let's see. See, as it says here in in the, the garage in the slots we have the em4 a3 e8 sherman the m4 e a3 e8 thunderbolt 7 and then we have the ma m4 a3 e8 fury 
and then the jumbo that is what we right now have on the comparison as you can see here these are these two can be un, not configured and changed uh so if we look at the configuration here you know we have vents rammer and uh, scope we have brothers in arms and repair and that's what i'm going to set up every one of these tanks so that they are the same so give me a moment to get that done so you get somewhat of a similar layout an idea of what each tank is now the difference is, is i'm going to leave the jumbo alone because it does have the 105 all right so we configured these three which are all easy eights just different versions of the easy eights all the same as you can see here the firepower on the regular easy eight is 22 higher than the thunderbolt and 13 higher and then the fury they did make minor changes as you can see the average pen damage is 115 the average penetration these are standard rounds are all the same now the rate of fire is a little bit different and again if we go back into like i said the configuration we have vents rammer and scope on everybody brothers in arms and repairs and that's it so that is the difference that's quickly right there shows the same so the so the thunderbolt is a little bit f slower firing but as you can see the fury is pretty much identical as it now the gun traverse speed is a little bit different between the fury and the the easy eight uh, but it's the same as the thunderbolt as you can see gun depression is 12 on the easy eight which i'm not quite sure why it's not the same on the fury but that is one another one of the differences i can understand why it wouldn't be on the thunderbolt because they added a little bit more plate out here to help lock shots so it wouldn't be exactly the same so as we go down here as you can see the dispersion is the same except for the fury is a little worse off all right the aim time on the easy eight is better and the thunderbolt and then the fury so that is all the gun handling situation in the survivability the easy eight has 900 where the two premiums have 840 and then the jumbo over here because it has a stock turret to use the 105 only has 810 so that is what the easy eight would be it would be 810 as you can see here for hall armor the thunderbolt does have have the highest but the m2 or the e the jumbo does have better side armor so it has a little bit better side armor so it makes it a little bit better at side scraping but it also still has more frontal armor than the the base easy eight all the turrets are the same again this is the stock turret or the correct turret for the jumbo it is a very heavy turret heavy armored so that it can carry that 105 and as you can see here suspension repair time is all the same uh mostly for all across the board except for the jumbo which is a little bit slower now mobility here we have a, a weight difference between the tanks as you can see the easy a is the lightest and the thunderbolt as actually believe it or not the heaviest it's even heavier than the jumbo as the jumbo is configured as you can see that and there is a difference in engine power the jumbo does have a heavier engine power but it's even even though and that remember i, I didn't take the turbo off of this one be, just because i have it set up different so that's the reason it has a little bit higher engine power overall as you can see the specific power is the highest on the easy eight then the lowest on the thunderbolt as you can see here are our speeds 48 42 i don't i don't know why this is 41.8 it should be 42 and then 35 down here with the jumbo so again that's why i have run a turbo on this one for sure get those few extra kilometers per hour in the forward motion transverse feed the fury is the fastest on transverse feed overall it can turn quicker a lot quicker than the jumbo can anywhere around it in sights of this also having clutch braking will also increase this but if you have clutch braking on all of them it's still going to pan out that you know the fury is going to be higher concealment the easy a is the easiest to conceal these two here they are with camouflage so you can see the easy a the the base easy a is easier to hide uh, not by a lot as you can see here the fury can't hide uh behind a uh you know a five foot thick wall uh, it's almost as bad as an, an oi not really or a kv2 but as you can see here overall the current one the ea is the basic now in spotting they basically all have the same view range but as you can see here with the same turret they all have the same view range but they have different signal ranges because of different radios so they're pretty much identical uh uh, once once configured identical if you have the easy eight the thunderbolt the fury are literally the exact same tank just with little minute differences here or there the jumbo can be made 
to be like the Easy 8, but it's much better when, you know, you leave it with its stock turret and it's a 105 millimeter cannon. So overall, that is really the differences and the similarities between the four Shermans in the U.S. tech tree side. Now let's go ahead and head on over to whatrecords.com and see how I did for this battle. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, and here we are at whatrecords.com. I hope that little tad bit that we had right there in between the battle and this was helpful in understanding that the four tanks that I mentioned, the Easy 8 the Jumbo, the Thunderbolt, and the Fury, are literally very, very similar tanks. Now, I got a first-class badge. That first-class badge came from the 1095 base experience. Also got a uh, Fire for Effect, Fighter, Sharpshooter, Arsonist, or I, I like to call it Burninator, uh, because I, um, I destroyed one tank, a.k.a. the KV-2, by burning it up. I lit it on fire, and it was destroyed by the fire. Master Gunner, Duelist, and then Bruiser. And over here, you can see I got five kills. I got 19 damaging shots. I did nine criticals, and I spotted five tanks overall. Over in the team score, you can see I did do 2,100 damage overall. That is the second only to the KV-2. Now, I am only roughly 800. 180 890 hit points behind but he's also pouting 150 millimeter high explosive uh probably the he howitzer or the the arty cannon so overall as you can see that i did get over 300 experience more than anybody else i also did get the most kills overall fired 29 shots only 25 of them did penetrate so i missed four shots which is a pretty good ratio if you ask me to the hits now only 19 of them did pen again i'm shooting at some tanks that have some heavier armor with a gun that doesn't have quite as much penetration 2100 hit points 358 were from over 300 meters i did receive four shots all three of the four did pen i got blocked 700 armor got spotted damaged five six damaged five got 193 in assistance and i traveled a little bit of distance it was about a seven minute battle overall now it was with a premium account thankfully that that is what helped save me from losing credits as you can see here i spent 46,000 in resupply of ammo and that was because i shot up bunch of premium now these tank ease if you fire a lot of tank out of the easy eight premium rounds out of the easy eight you are going to chew up your winnings you can see here 48,000. probably i didn't have any boosters running as you can see that and repair the tank you could burn through that as you can see here uh with a premium account no boosters running and burning up a bunch of premium ammo you can burn through your earnings real quick you can this make this easily a negative if it wasn't with a premium count what a lost 16,000 credits got 1600 experience 1,300, 144 for completing a mission of some sort. So, and because it's a premium tank, you get bonus experience, which is 493. I got 15,200 experience in one battle on the Fury, which went straight to field mods. So, overall, this was a really good battle. I enjoyed it. It was a 6,700 WNA game. I did really, really good in it. I, I had fun in the battle. Again, I'm not sure what the, the, the pause of me moving in the battle was but in turn it worked out just as well anyways with all the and said gentlemen ladies and gentlemen if you like this video please scroll down and click a like again if you think there's something i missed or comments on what you thought of this video make sure you leave a comment down in the comment section now there's a second way to do both liking the liking the battle and commenting over here on this page right here as you can see there is a bunch of stuff now there is a link down in the description if you click that link it'll bring you right to this page you may have to uh, log in right up here to do everything else that i'm about to say when you log in and you're looking at someone else's battle you will see a thumbs up or a thumbs down right here you can click either one of those and if you scroll down below in the very bottom you can also leave a comment just like you could on youtube so you can make a comment about the battle here and a comment about the video on youtube but with that all being said ladies and gentlemen if you're not subscribed and you do want to keep up to date with my world of tanks minecraft game reviews and everything else that i do on this channel make sure you click that subscription button and if you want notification for everything make sure you click that notification bell changing it from personalized to all to get notifications for everything that i load up here on this channel i want to get out of here ladies and gentlemen that's all i got to be said but i'll see you again soon and maybe i'll even see you on the battlefield <laughs>